16-year-old you, right? You, no, you, you, can go, you can go back in time. Mm-hmm. You can give yourself 10 tips of what to do or how to prepare for your first date or oh, a first date. Fuck. What exactly would you say to yourself? What I did when I was 16 is what I do now. And I can tell you 10 things is chivalry isn't dead, bro. We gotta revive it. Mm-hmm. Um, basically what it is is manners, bro. Open the door to the car, you know? Mm-hmm. Open the door to the restaurant, open the door to the theater. You know, it's always back and forth to where, you know, hey girl, what do you want to eat? And you order for her or have her order first. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, compliments are always cool. And one thing I noticed about some girls is uh, you give them a compliment and everyone thinks like, ooh, you got a big ass. You know, nah. Simple words like gorgeous, dude. Women love the word gorgeous, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. And you know, beautiful is too strong, I think, even though gorgeous is a big word. Mm-hmm. What do you think beautiful is such a strong word? I don't know, just like... Comes off the wrong way? You no, know, no. Just, you know, just when you guys are just going for a simple dinner, mm-hmm. you know, wow, you look beautiful. You know, sometimes, from what I notice, when you call a girl beautiful, they just don't think you're serious sometimes when you say, wow, you look gorgeous today, or in the morning, you know? Mm-hmm. It just seems more genuine. Right. That. Right. Or just as a genuine word. Right. Ah, uh, damn. I always pay. Mm-hmm. You know, there comes a time when, when you see a girl reach for her pocket, bro, she's a keeper. You know, even if it's a first date, fifth date, fifteenth date, thirtieth date, if she still reaches for your, her, her fucking pocket, for her wallet, she's a keeper. Mm-hmm. When I see a girl not reach for her fucking pocket, and take the last fucking mozzarella stick. Fucking bro, she's done. That happened not too long ago. Uh-huh. Fucking went out, had a few drinks. Showed, showed up to Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, for a nightcap. It was happy hour. Yeah. We're out till two o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she didn't reach for her wallet at all. <laughs> and it was just funny because she fucking, you was sitting there, bro, I was eyeballing it. And, of course, I would let her take the last one, but she yeah. just, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Took, took the last, I don't know, bro. Maybe that's just me because that's the with food. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, I don't know. Drinks, uh, depending, mm-hmm. you know, where you go. We do the program. One thing is, is uh, God gave you two ears and one mouth because you gotta listen to twice as much as you talk. Um, and one thing, when we, women love to talk about themselves, just period, you know, mm-hmm. women just love to talk about themselves. But you know, I, I talk a little bit more than the usual male. I think I think I talk too fucking much because mm-hmm. I want to seem interesting. And then I love it when a woman can talk, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's why I listen. I'm just trying to relate. Even if you guys don't have anything in common, make it seem like you're interested. Yeah. You know, just to engage. Yeah. And you just never know. Things can change, you know? You know, let's say you don't like roller coasters, right? Right. <laughs> but if she's like, oh, let's go here, but you compromise. Mm-hmm. You know, there's other shit to do, like Knott's Berry Farm. Mm-hmm. There's shit you can do, mm-hmm. and there's roller coasters, but break it in. Right. You gotta be soft. It's like, you know, you can't just put it in the butt. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta foreplay. Right. And then they turn into it, you know? Okay. But this is also advice for girls, man. Give homeboy a chance. That's all I gotta say. Give homeboy a chance, because, yeah. It's because like, it just some girls they see the materials on the guy and he's fucking driving around a tourist, but at the same time, you know, I, I mean, make me sound materialistic, I guess. Mm-hmm. But it's not about what he owns on his feet. Right. It's all about heart. 
I mean, you know, all the time. Isn't that hard? No, nah, yeah. You know, bro, but like you bust your ass and you buy the shit that you want and need and you can take her out, but, you know, there's some guys out there, it's just, they're ready to spoil themselves and they're growing. That's, that's my fucking, that's where I fuck up, I guess you could say. Spoiling and grow? Yeah. Like, the first day, dude, I go all out. It's not bad. But, they say, oh, well, because you, you go all out, they think you expect that every time. Like, no, man. The first date? Fuck, it's the first date. It's like, for instance, took this girl out, mm -hmm. fucking $100 dinner, went to the Angels game, Damn. fucking had a good time. Mm -hmm. This other girl, fucking $100 dinner, went out, had drinks, went out, had more drinks. It's a fucking $150 night. Mm -hmm. But did I get some? Yeah. No. Oh. One of them I didn't. <laughs> but it's not about that. A lot of guys, you know, they try to impress because of they think they're gonna get some at the end of the night. And, you know, expect to expect the unexpected, I guess. Um, for a girl that gives it up on the first night, compared to a girl that gives it up um the, the, the second month that you guys have been talking or dating. They say never never go with the girl that gave it up on the first night. I think if that's true, I don't know, dude. I've had bouts where it's give, it's taken me fucking months, but not months. Not trying. It's just you know backing off, mm -hmm. just respecting her boundaries, and we did. It did last longer. Because mm -hmm. I think sometimes when you do it the first night, either a like me, there's times if we do it the first night, then maybe she. I think about it too much. I go, right. does she want me to call her mom? Does she want me to go out to dinner now? Or is it just fuck buddy? Like, you don't know. Yeah. That's why it's kind of hard and tough sometimes to kind of figure out, like, about a girl on the first night. But, again, you guys could completely fucking hit it off the first night. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's like you guys have nothing in common or whatever, and she's like, all right, drop your pants and suck your dick. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> like, you're going to do it anyways. Yeah. You know, we're fucking males. Yeah. But... You know, that girl that ate when I last mozzarella stick, you know what I was thinking? Maybe she can suck my dick tonight. But, you know, it's just a million things are going through your head at, you know, certain times where it's first night, second month. Like, my, the girlfriend that I let go, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know, absolutely love her to death and we're still good friends, as I was telling you earlier. Mm -hmm. She was a virgin, bro. We didn't do anything for fucking eight months. Yeah, we fooled around a lot, dude. Like, points, right. like, just... <laughs> Finally, bro, like nine months, dude. Nine months, and I'm fucking 19, 20 years old. Yeah. That's hard to do that young, bro. Yeah. I'm getting a hard on when there's like a fucking breath of wind going underneath my fucking shorts. I don't know. First night. Just depends if you really hit it off. Um, one last question. What do you look for in a girl? Because I know girls are. Oh, are always asked this question, but what are you looking for in a girl? Let's say you guys went out on the first date, right? What are things that she would do that would just be like, God damn it, this girl is a shit. Confidence. Um, ambition. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some people out there that just, girls out there just settle. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, just, just confidence and ambition. I don't like girls with cockiness, even though they, they're bad, you know, they're gorgeous as fuck. Yeah. But it's like, damn, okay, you're, you're beautiful as hell, but, you know, you're a receptionist. Or <laughs> fucking, I don't know. I, again, that doesn't have anything to do with it, but, yeah. you know, confidence is for sure and ambitious. Right. Um, and just, they know how to spell, like. <laughs> when they text you. Yeah, yeah, like, she's like, this is one, one girl said, don't waste my time, and it was like, W-A-I-S-T, I'm like, that's not, that's not how you spell waste, it's, that's your waste, right. like, right. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I know, it sounds so dumb, but I'm so fucking picky with that shit, bro, like, I don't know, common sense is a huge one, dude, mm -hmm. common sense is just fucking huge, and, uh, she's gotta be into sports, she got to drink beer and wine. Sounds like a good date to me. Yeah, whatever for. There's other shit. Just you know, 
when something pops out, it's kind of like, then it's like, oh, fuck, like, really? Yeah. It's hard to really say what that really is. It's, I don't know, surprising. Right. That makes it fun. Or even if it's that girl that you're really into, and she's like, let's go in the back of the restaurant. Like, that That can be like, oh, shit, like, that could be a turn on. So, whatever. What else you got? That's it, Joe. That's it. That's it. See you, bye. Night, night, night.